Time to get beat up by werewolves again. Rose. Keep looking for Rose. Finish that item you requested. Please deliver it to the house with the red chimney. Go through the caves, the ruins. Okay. Okay, nothing in there. Let me check there. Looks like there's not much in here but just saving. So that was the end of Big Lady. Guys, can we all just give, can we all just have like some sad puppies and chat for the, the end of Big Lady? We need, we, we, we mourn sad, oh, you know, big lady, big lady. You know, she, she cared about her daughters that I had to murder. <gasps> oh, Peggy Lou, thank you so much for the $5 donation. We're in the caves. We're in the caves. That was exciting. That was that was a pulse pot. What the fuck? Uh, there's fishies. Do they hurt? Okay, it does not seem the fish. I wonder. Do you get an achievement for shooting fishies? Yep. Will Jess hunt down fishies? Yes. One of those rare games I've seen someone play all over already and I'm cool watching someone else play it. Yeah, no, it's just a pretty... We give glory, Mother Miranda. Great ones, hear our voice together as one in reverence. We call on thee within the endless dark. As the midnight moon rises on black oh, wings, this bitch. we await the light at the end. In life and in death, glory to Mother Miranda. Hey, remember me? I almost died up at that castle. Tell me, what is going on around here? How can a man be almost dead? Yeah, she's dead, That's dead. That's a question for the wise. That's not you know me. I mean. I'm just old and dumb. I still haven't found Rose. Where did Mother Miranda take her? <laughs> you are too late. Or maybe almost too late. The wow. child will be sacrificed. Life for life. What kind of sick medieval shit is this? She's just a baby. The crest. Of the four blood oh, guys. may open the. If you look down here at the bottom, it's the fucking um, umbrella symbol. No joke. Anyone who knows RE lore, seriously, that's the fucking um, umbrella symbol. Path you seek. Will you please stop talking in riddles? I just want to find my daughter. Yeah. The umbrella, it's the umbrella logo, yep. It's only a riddle if you don't know the answer. <laughs> Bitch, what was that? <laughs> yeah, it's literally an umbrella symbol. Wait a second. That looks familiar. Hey, hey, wait! She didn't... Do you think she locked it? There's, there's, go off, I guess. Um. House Moreau. House Heisenberg. Emilio. Yeah, 
Yeah, no, Ethan is kind of lame. Like, I'm not looking for action hero, but like, he was... I felt like he at least had something going for him in RE7. Also, if you're gonna be a person that's basically part mold monster... Like, can we be honest here? That like... Wait, so I can't go that way. Where do I go? Yeah, that's literally the umbrella symbol. What the fuck? Okay, so wait, what am I supposed to do right now? It says that I need wing keys, but I don't have a wing key. Maybe it's on the thing. Let's look around. Open. Wing key. Helps my pay attention. Oh yeah, they could have done some Eddie Brock Venom shit with that. That's totally true, Anthony. That would have been amazing. pattern looks really familiar. Yeah, it does. Oh, I don't see anything to grab, so we're gonna just head this way. Better keep our eye out for werewolves, though we have a lot more weapons this time, so that's something. <sighs> no, Ven I'm right, that that that's Anthony, that's that's directly accurate. Uh the Venom symbiotes are fantastic. That is a dead man. Um My guns do way more damage, you bitches, so spoiler. So as far as like increased viewership, I mean, it depends on the day. If we're doing a Sunday stream, I mean, right now we're averaging like a Sunday stream is something like. I want to say like we've been hitting around the 40s. Um, we've had a couple days that were in the four, the, the 50s. Um, what's this game for destroying my hearing? I'm sorry, I can't do anything. I've got it. I've got it as best as I can set up. Um, but yeah, that's been pretty solid. As far as the like, I can turn down the game a little bit. Here, let me, let me knock this down just a smidge. Um, but yeah, so one of the, one of the things is, is like, yeah, I turned it down a little bit. Is that a little better? 
I knocked it down like another 15 decibels. All right, well, let me know how it sounds. I'm still learning how to do audio balancing, so as a note, I'm not great at that. Uh, I think you need the cranky thing. Oh, it's not my fault the game is not properly balanced. Oh, okay, well, I feel less dumb. Cool. But yeah, no, Demon Mama's been a big help for, for getting viewership. We've also gotten a lot of people from Vosh because I've randomly given donations. Um to ask him to look at certain videos. There's some videos that I really, really wanted him to take a look at. Um, so there's been there's been some nice boosts from that kind of stuff. Um, Um, but yeah, there's, there's been a pretty big increase there. Will I stream more often in the future? So here's the thing, guys. You have to remember, this is my side job. Um, I still am a licensed therapist. I still work with clients. My, my goal is to not cease doing that. And so, oh, you found me from the Jimmy Snow BS? Yeah, no, I appreciate that. The Jimmy Snow video got a lot of views. That was really nice. I'm glad that, uh... Beyond Safe Words brought that to our attention. I wasn't, I'm not familiar with anybody involved in that situation other than Jimmy Snow, so it was really nice to kind of get an understanding as to what that was. Um, yeah, yeah, Vosh is in fact rad. Um, but yeah, as far as like the streaming in the, more in the future, so here's the thing. You have to remember that like Xena and I are... I'll get to that in a second, Anthony. Um... Xena and I are, are people that deal with chronic illness. Xena and I deal with both a lot of migraines and stuff. And so um, one of the reasons why I don't hammer on you guys about donating or like saying this is my livelihood, because it's really not. I do do OK with being a therapist and we, we survive. Um, really, this is just to put out some of the thoughts that I have and try to attempt to, you know, be a little bit more comfortable than we have been in the past um, and also help a transition because I'm going to be probably getting FF FFS soon. Um, as far as like doing more in the future, we have talked about trying to do like a once in a week, like gaming stream like this, but it really just comes down to how we're doing. That's really what it comes down to. Um, and also just how tired we are. I, my job is exhausting. Um, it's not Beyonce words. It's beyond safe words. Uh, Sam, she's an, uh, I believe, uh, she, her, I believe that she is an MSW. Um, as far as people finding the streams that are clients, I mean, obviously I can't say more than this, but because I've made videos that specifically deal with like certain creative adjustments, like, or certain techniques like square breathing or the container, um, we've literally had, um, you know, I've, I've literally kind of pass those videos on to clients of mine and some of the clients just found this on their own. Um, now, obviously I can't say anything more than that, obviously confidentiality, but I will just say like, there's a number of people that have found this and no one really gives a fuck. Um, they know me, they know the work I do. My opinions in session are not much different than what I tell you guys. I'm not particularly a traditional therapist. I'm kind of an opinionated bitch who really defends trans people a lot. Um, it, like this is, this is just the fun version of what I do with my job. Though it does beg an interesting hypothetical. Um, if a client does find this and they have an issue, say hypothetically, that was the thing that happened. No, right? Like, again, like, uh, here's my big, my big complaint. One of the things that I think is really important in therapy is that clients see the real you. Now, I'm not saying you make the session about you. And I'm not saying you try to, you try to dominate them or anything like that. Like, I'm not, it's, it's, it's always about the client. It's always about being there and supporting them. And thank you, Ash. That is really nice. Me and Xena, me and Xena are pretty okay. I, I like, I like us. Um... But Xena's fucking great. I'm I'm just okay. 
Um, <laughs> I don't think they can hear you because I have it on the wrong setting. Je I will repeat what Zena said. Zena said it, that I am hot. Um, and a sweetheart. And, and a amazing. sweetheart. But if it sounds too low, the game sounds, I'll turn it up just a smidge. There we go. Um, but yeah, like, I, I, I think it's really important in sessions to be as, like, authentic as with clients as humanly possible. Um, oh, thank you, Patricia. Patricia's, by the way, y'all don't know this, but like there are some members of the community that have been here since the beginning. Like when we were like 10 subs, Patricia was here and like DMing me on Discord, sending me the double down emote. Like Patricia's fucking wonderful. Ash is wonderful. Like we have a really good community. Um, I actually need to schedule that discussion with Demon Mama. I don't even know what about it. I just want to talk to her. Probably going to talk about a little bit about mental health. I also want to kind of find out more about like the impacts some of this shit that's happened online does. Um, hi, love. Hi. Here, love. Turn this a little. Chatting. Yeah, yeah. I'll still be probably be playing a little bit, but yeah. You can... I'm all done playing. So. That's fine. I'm yeah, Anthony. I'll say this: like, I'm really proud of our community. Like. I know every fucking YouTuber says that shit except for Lily Orchard, who's just abusive to hers. Um, but like, I. No, it, it's nice to see people like really committed to working on mental health and, uh, uh, you know, also really willing to like handle conflict or anything that comes up or like, you know, also just be willing to hang out and have fun it's, it's really nice because like real life is hard to have a community and especially you know with covid and everything going on it's really nice to have uh, a lot of people around a lot of people that just want to like show up and hang out and do stuff as well as you know watch just put out content so. yeah it's it's one of the things like i really wanted to make this channel about was like I wanted to always first and foremost focus on improving people's mental health and putting good stuff out there. I don't necessarily get the most out of like the really big outrage stuff because it doesn't, I think it's good for drawing views. I think it's good to talk about some of this stuff. Um, yeah. If anyone says they like their community, they're lying quote Lily orchard. Um, yeah. I mean, the thing is, is that like, and this is, this is really the important thing for me is that I, I grapple with the notion of our community getting bigger because I don't want to lose the intimacy, but I also know that we can get more of the word out with some of these things. And I think some of the work we've done, you mentioned the inevitable um, RGR discourse, but like the reason I talk about her is because again, it's disappointing. I, I really, really liked RGR, right? I really like, I really liked a lot of her stuff. I thought she was really solid. And the more I find out about her, the more I find myself going, you know, what, what happened? Why is this like this? Um, and I don't want to ever be that. And I've been very explicit with my community that like, you know, if, if they're ever. There you are. Oh. I had a feeling you would pop up here. It was all worthless. Is that so? I assume you've picked up something of value. Not sure if it's a value, but... Why, you have your daughter right in your own hands. What are you saying? Take a closer look. What the fuck? Oh god, it's her head. Rosemary Winter's head. That flask seems to contain her head. No. What the fuck is happening? What? What? Roses. I'm... Don't say another word. This, this is impossible. This just can't be. Your daughter's essence is still intact. Her powers are truly unique. Cause she's a mold baby. <laughs> Who could even do this? She can be saved, you know. 
Saved? From this? Are you insane? There's a house with a red chimney on the western side of the village. Go and seek out the man who lives there. Then we can continue our conversation. Quit holding out and get to the damn point! You don't have to trust my words. But do you have any better options? His poor feet. Like, I know you're supposed to look at this guy and go, wow, he's really fat, but like, look at his poor feet. Your choice. The customer is always right. After all. It's always too late as Ethan's superpower. I'll prepare you if I find out this is a lie. <laughs> Fuck, Joker. Um, yeah, so to answer, yeah, sure, drop it, Ethan. Yeah, drop your daughter, Ethan. What about the universe, like the concept of a fan seeking me out? So part of the thing with the channel is, is that I'm pretty careful about my personal information um, because I feel like I want to be as careful as humanly possible. Um, I know that there's going to come a day on this channel where I'm going to get... Yeah, he does kind of feel like a Buddha statue weaver. No joke. He does kind of feel like Hote, um, the big fat guy in Chinese restaurants. Um, but like, I, I don't have a necessary issue with it. I think my only concern with it would be is just there'd have to be a discussion about like parasocial relationships and how that would interact. But I think that actually could be really good fodder for a session. Like what brings you in? Who do you think I am? I love this disclaimer. Jessica is a therapist, but she's not your therapist. Yeah, I mean, that's there because the thing is, is that like, I don't, I don't want to facilitate a parasocial relationship that is not like, I can't, I know I can't stop it. Let me say it that way. I know I can't stop it, but I know I can also try to make it as healthy as possible and make it very clear that like, if you're engaging with on this channel, you're engaging with someone who has a master's in counseling and somebody who is, you know, educated in this stuff. You're dealing with someone who has a degree in education as well as really knowledgeable about a I mean, good I number. I don't of have a degree in education. I thought you did. Um, I, what, what's your degree in then? I forget the beginning. Uh, so I have a secondary. I've got um, an associates. Oh, that's right. You didn't finish the, the secondary education. education transfer. I didn't actually get to the education part. I did got it. I was better, forgetting. But I do have a lot of experience working in like camps and educational capacities that aren't, you know, like a school setting. Um, so if you have more experience with like archery and arts and crafts. Oh good. I was um, just thinking of ways to pass the time. And other things like that. I've procured um, some new I items have a lot for of, like, you, Mr. Winters. And all of that stuff under there. Um, uh, but otherwise my other degree is, uh, computer science and networking with a focus in Linux. I have an associate in that. So. Yeah. That's, that's my actual degrees. Sorry about that. I screwed oh, up. Oh, no, that's okay. I, just, I, I also have a lot patronage. of, like, study and knowledge and education, not necessarily, like, a hard degree. I have thoughts about public education. But, yeah, like, I think the thing is our goal on the channel is, is to be as authentic as possible and be able to give people as much support. I think, I I don't know, I just, I, I know kind of how YouTube works, and after watching a number of people and seeing how some of these interactions go, I just feel like there's a healthier way to do it. Um, I just, I... The yelling at your chat, the freaking out at them. Like, there's definitely times where chat gets on my nerves, but, like, I really do want to foster positive relationships and positive you growth. Have you ever met someone that is the holistic self or integral self stage of development? For you, Mr. Winters. So this gets complicated. Um, <laughs> so via Pam, um, by the way, I love that name. My, my mom's name was Pam. Um, so if you're... We're going to cover the second part of the developmental system coming up, and I'm probably going to bring up some of the critiques I have about it. But basically what I'll say is this. Um, so if you're using the map that we've posted, I don't know how valid this is to anybody, and I don't put a ton of stock into it. So I want to give these caveats beforehand. But one of the things that I did when I was younger um, is in 2010, I sought out Susan Cook Reuter, who was doing developmental testing. Um, she's the one that created the ego development system, um, which I think is one of the better ones. I think it's a lot more effective and understandable. And what I did is get tested in that, which was a sentence completion. You basically take a sentence, you write it out, 
And then they use kind of the syntax, the the meaning, sort of the abstraction, and they kind of figure out where you're at. And so one of the things that happened, hi, Sin. One of the things that happened is I got the testing and I thought I would come out at um, the stages color-coded green, right? The the plural, uh, not plural self. Um, I forget what it's called. My brain's not working right now. Don't sell the doll. What doll? Oh, don't sell the doll? Okay, I won't sell the doll. Um, but I thought I would come out at like that green stage of postmodern. And I, you know, I was really down on myself. And what ended up happening was, is I got the testing and I came out two stages above that. Um, the one that is color coded by Wilbur as turquoise or... Um, I think you're referring to that as the holistic self, whichever one is the one above integral self. Um, now, does that matter? Not really. Um, it's that and a cup of coffee. You know, it's like, like 10, 10 bucks will buy you a cup of coffee at Starbucks. Um, and, you know, it's like finding people who are actually, you know, dateable is a little bit tricky. Um, but that's the thing is that for me, that actual testing brought up a lot of issues because one, it kind of had me made me, me re, uh, it had to make me reconsider who I was and kind of how I perceived myself. The other thing is, is that it actually caused conflict within my friend group because there was a friend of mine who I really cared deeply for who didn't agree with the testing's outcome. And it felt like they were sort of trying to, to talk it down in ways that didn't feel great. And so it became a, an, an issue of contention. Um, so yeah, I mean, as far as met people, I've met many people who have tested out that level. Um, they're pretty great. What does turf mean? Miss Jess? Um, it is a trans exclusionary radical feminist. This is a group of feminists who are very much, um, against trans women, um, like myself and, um, if you actually rewind back to the beginning, towards the beginning of the video, I actually cover them in some of their, their terminology. Still wiping the sleepy eyes. Welcome, Sin. Everybody, give hypers to Sin for waking up and being here. We love Sin. Hi. And I have my, I'm still working on my shirt. It's going to be a tank top. Uh, and then on binary colors, so far I've got, you know, the black, purple, and white. Um, Yeah. So it'll be a tank top. That's super cool, Anthony. God, special education to eventually sexologist. You know, I eventually wanted to get in 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 involved with ASEC, but I just haven't found the time. No, that is really cool, Anthony. Yeah. So, okay, I'm just going to save these ingredients because they don't pay a lot anyway. Oh, Lady Dimitrescu. Beautiful even in death. That waistline. Yes. Don't fuck the crystal statue. Oh no, the tank top. You should see the picture for it. That the top that like Zena's making for me, I'll totally wear it on stream. There is still the pre the pressure of doing a um <laughs> Oh, is that is that the one you're talking about? Oh, it's that one. Sorry, I was thought you'd find the pink one. Oh, oh, that one. Okay, okay. So this is gonna be like a full full tank top. I'll just do a whole that makes video sense, on, what I'm, on my project, honestly. Uh, there is a brawlet pattern that I've got off Ravelry that I am going to be making one for Jess. And and hopefully it'll fit both of us, you know. Um, I'm sure it will. It's honestly really stretchy. But the neat part about this is that this tank top is highly customizable and goes from like a couple like XX small sizes to like several X large sizes. So you can basically adjust the pattern for like anybody and, and you know, customize it to what you kind of want it to. Um, I need to do a blog at some point. There are some really neat patterns out there. Um, but you're thinking of the crop top look. That oh, thank you. I'm sorry. Like crop top kind of thing. I'm still going to wear it on stream. You absolutely should. It'll be hot. I, even got I like get such great compliments from my partner. <laughs> Delighted to. Oh. <sighs> but yeah, I um Oh, excellent. I'm not sure why 
Oh, you got one for free. Oh, no, I didn't. I bought it. Okay, whoops. <laughs> just spending money. I was just, I was like, click on the thingy. Um. No, I'm aware you ate cosplay. Uh, uh fuck them. <laughs> oh, Viri Rona, good night. We love you. By the way, if you like the stream, please consider donating. Streamlabs.com slash transgirltherapist slash tip. You can also bring it up in either of the chats for exclamation dono. Do you think American suburbs by their nature foster the feelings of depression and isolate isolation? Yes. Hard yes. Um, I think that what they do is they create tiny little islands that don't really facilitate community. Um, I've had this kind of view before, but basically the, 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 the argument comes down to is there really does seem to be some negative ways that this is all an investment. Ethan. There really does seem to be some negative ways in which this stuff affects people. And I, I would love to see more data to show if, if that's the case, but that's my intuition. Yeah, I'm using my computer, UA Cosplay. Yeah, no, it really is. And I, and I think it does something to people. Like, there's things that have come up because of the suburbs and because of the way Americans do things. And it's like, because of the way they set up, it feels like everybody's in this, like, insular separated islands. And I have to wonder what that does because it does sort of foster, I think, this ongoing sense of isolation from one another. And I think that's not just in the suburbs. I think the suburbs are really bad at it. But like even in living in an apartment, like when I've lived in apartments before, I didn't know my neighbors. I didn't really interact with my neighbors. Um, and so there's a lot of stuff there that's really... I guess really interesting because in a lot of ways... Um, I think we don't talk enough about I don't think we talk enough about what the effects of different living situations and different situ and different like um different configurations of human settlements work. I really like Vosh's idea of like having like communities really tight knit. Um, I think that that would be better overall. I think it would take an adjustment period for someone like myself, but I really think it would be neat. Um, Cause I just feel like I, I mean, maybe, maybe this is just a me thing, but I just feel very alienated from the rest of society. And maybe that's just cause I'm trans. The only reason I stay in my suburb is because my parents live under me. And as an autistic person, being fully independent is terrifying. Word. Let's see. I heard a scream from the house at the chimney. I was going to take a look at the way it was blocked by debris. Going to have to take the long way around. Who would have thought the holes in the stable walls would come in handy? If I'm not back by morning, you should go to Louisa's house alone. Well, Louisa's dead and that do turn into a werewolf. So, Sorry. See, it sucked. I always feel bad a little bit about this, but like I lucked out because and me and Xena talk about this a lot is like we could have very much gone crazy over COVID, but we had each other. Um, We had a really, really kind of a shitty situation come up with a friend who was staying with us during that time where we kind of ended up getting kind of used. Um, But even with that happening, we kind of had a, a really good support system in one another. Um, I honestly don't know where I would be at if, if you know, Xena, Xena wasn't here, especially in transitioning. Um, the level of support and the level of care that they've given is huge. Um, hey, you. Hi. Did, did 
Did someone throw a rock? What, what the fuck just happened? Yeah, no, our apartment has, like, no insulation. Like, there's no sound barrier. Um, no, that's that's definitely a thing. And maybe some of the newer places do. You know, but we, ours is not a very new one. Not at all. There's something to be said um, with community, um, you know, raising raising kids and stuff in a community with large groups, right? Like, I, we have largely moved away from that, and I'd be curious about more of kind of the effects of that. Um, you know, because I, I think in, in, you know, there's more of a system built around, you know, kind of or you know um kind of kids in the same neighborhood interact with each other and that's just not a thing that i really see nowadays in fact i find a lot of parents are like afraid to let kids leave their yard um which is just so different to how i grew up because i was allowed to run around wherever yeah once i hit a certain age i could basically go wherever but that was not the norm for a lot of my friends um as far as your question, via Pam, do I think car dependency is bad? So it's complicated because, like, from an objective environmental standpoint, absolutely. Not only because of the environmental part, but also just because of the, the people that it feeds, right? Like, the Koch brothers have actively put money into stopping public transportation in multiple cities before. There's a really good um, Patriot Act episode that talks about this. But basically, it brings up the fact that there really is, like an effort to stop good public transportation from happening. And what's really frustrating about this is that good public transportation really can make the difference of whether or not like poor people and people who are low income and all that, whether or not they do well or not, like it's, it's got a lot to it. And so like one of the things that um, sucks is that they, you know, they're doing this because they want to do more stuff. But this game doesn't trigger it? Well, that's good. Oh, hey, a werewolf. Yeah, no one did. Suck it. I, I usually, um, car dependency, yeah, sucky. The lack of public transportation as a whole is really not a great situation. Well, but there's an additional factor there that I think is really hard to shake, and it's that, like, in some ways, like, fucking... Uh, Here's the here's here's the trick. The problem with cars in the United States is that cars are so deeply part of the cultural zeitgeist is that I don't know how you really shake them out. Yeah, I've lived in one city and I can't say where without um <clears throat> saying too much, but I will say that by all rights, like no, there really is a a an issue with this. Um And I think this is stuff we don't really talk about a lot is that like, why is, why is it always an issue? Well, because you have the powers that be usually rich motherfuckers who are very interested in maintaining the state of car ownership and the like, because that state does benefit them. Um, whether that's the, you know, the, Koch brothers or whether that's other groups, but yeah, it is a, it is a very hard thing to, to, to parse out because how do you, um, you know, what do you do with that? Right? Like, what do you, what is, what is the, what is the, the, the solve for that? And I, I don't know. Love you, Gina. Gina, be around more. We love you. At this point for a lot of places, I think, um, you know, public, Transportation has been value and degraded so much that it really is difficult to get any kind of cohesive like system going anywhere. Um, I know I've definitely seen these proposals come up and die a lot in the last ten years. 
um, the place where I'm at. So it's really rough to try and get anything through to even like improve this situation. All right. Operation date 2-9-2021. Recorded by NH. 11.35, arrived at site, no sign of EW or RW. So that'd be Rose Winters, uh, Ethan Winters. Yeah, they can be really hard for me too. I get really weirded out in them. UAW, U UA cosplay, I'm sorry you get, you you felt so lonely. 12.10, infiltrated village, engaged with number of bioweapons, found evidence of EW, RW location unknown. 13.10, established base in church. Analyze mold samples. Okay. Okay. This this is not what you expect to find in this this rustic church. Kisses, look. It's like a laptop. Oh, yeah. That is that does not go with the decor. Oh. Yeah, we we killed that one. Um we will miss her greatly. Um, so Anthony, like, this is where it's going to get frustrating is that I am, I am completely silly and not great at music. Um, I know songs that I like and I know, I know like j things that sort of emotionally touch me, but like to follow an artist or to like be aware of a particular group and their discography and all that kind of stuff. Like I'm just really dumb at it. Um, Sweet Thomas just mentioned how also ta hazardous to ride public. Yeah, and that's the other thing is, is that if you're going to put in decent public transportation, you need to actively have public transportation that is protective to trans people. Um, now, that being said, you know, there's some good stuff there. Um... Looks like they crucified some more people over here. Trisha is asking, what is, uh, I thought, the IAPOC? Um, Black, indigenous, or person of color? Just so everybody's aware, not everybody is uh, necessarily, um, in, in the same region that we are. So that's why, you know, sometimes we got to make sure that we explain stuff. Um, there's a lot of colloquial words that you know, come up around here. Um, oh, music. I like change a lot right now. I really like this stuff. New stuff comes out. And I'm like, oh, geez, it's good. Uh, I let my Pandora station take care of a lot of my music for me. I've had the same station for a quite a few years, and that's why I still pay for Pandora. <laughs> um, I don't know what I'm supposed to do with the pig. I'm just gonna not fuck with the pig. I don't know. I like game soundtrack music. I like instrumental music. Uh, I like that weird alternative rock music. Uh, I'm not I'm not necessarily good at music. You're good at following anything music related. Um... But I do have things that I like. So. Yeah. We're planning on another dedicated AMA. Uh, maybe, uh, probably at some point. Right now we still have like, I think we got, we've got one more guest we want to have on. Uh, we've got a, a decent amount of topics, I think, and I need to get a vlog going. Maybe after that. Um, we'll do another one again. Yeah, it just depends if there's a lot of questions and a lot of stuff coming up. Um, that's really the big thing. Um, if it feels like there's a lot of like big stuff coming up, is there a date set for that guest? Uh, which one? For DM? No, we haven't talked yet. Not yet. We also, uh, I've talked with, I 
see Quinn on the server as well. Oh, Quinn would be lovely. Um, I yeah, also would really love... We uh, to talk about, like, LGBTQ activism. Yeah, that, that would be Quinn, I think. You know who I also want to get so. the word out to, if possible? This may be me being way too big for my britches, but if I'm honest, is Jim Sterling. That would be super cool. Um, I really have been appreciating Jim Sterling's content lately, and... Well, it is very different. It doesn't have the same jokey, like pretend authoritarian stuff that it did before. I do think there's a level there's a level to which I need that vitriol and somebody who's kind of like really that aggressive. It's it's kind of neat. Um, um do I think Silence of the Lambs is transphobic? Um, no. Like, are you saying inherently transphobic? I would say no. Do I think it as accidentally transphobic? Maybe. Um, the big issue with Silence of the Lambs is that the author, um, as Lindsay Ellis pointed out, um, the author really went out of their way, even in the book, to point out that Bill is not a, you know, a real transsexual. And the problem is, is that Despite that, and despite the line in the movie that clearly says this, the fact is, is that the movie still, the movie still does, that doesn't let leave that in your, in your head. What it leaves in your head is, you know, Buffalo Bill saying, you know, would I fuck me? Um, that's, that's what, yeah, no. And I like the anger about bad things. It is a different feel. It doesn't have the same joke, but I do think it's important. And honestly, their transition has been really interesting to watch. Notice they've lost a lot of weight lately, and I'm not really sure what's going on there. I do just think it's neat to notice, though. Um, no, I appreciate Jim a lot, um, but I would love to have a conversation with them. Um, they, they seem like they're really fucking cool, and um, I, feel like, I feel like there's a lot we could agree with and discuss. Um, I also think that would be neat just because, like, you know, I don't think anyone's anyone's actually had Jim like on their stream, and that could be, you know, bragging rights. Not not that I'm saying I want to use poor poor Jim for that. It's just, you know, I I like I like bragging rights. <laughs> I like talking to other queer creators. Like, this is probably one of the neat things that no, we get. I mean, even on our channel so far, we get to talk to a lot of really cool people. That's true. Right? Like, I would love to talk to more queer creators, and Jim is really cool. Um, yeah. It's like real wrestling, Anthony. Not like the weird shit that Dylan Burns did with fucking the uh, Hippy Dippy Royal Rumble. What happened to this poor house? Oh. It's her monkey. What What the fuck? What did you guys do? Lindsay Ellis video is some, uh, it was like the history or like of transphobia or something. Yeah, it's the history of transphobia. Yeah. I'll be honest, I bought both pens. We did buy both pens. Yeah. Stream your artwork. By the way, to be super clear, like, I don't know quite how to work it out yet, but like, one thing I've been thinking about is seeing if people wanted to showcase some of their stuff on the channel. You know, just like if someone's like, hey, I want to share this thing that I really like or really care about, like just making, you know, having people put make a video, I review them and then I just put them up on the channel and be like, this is some of the stuff we like to support. I've been thinking that would be really fun. Um... I just don't know how to figure that all out as far as like, you know, typical YouTube um, isms, right? Like, I'd probably just give the person the ad revenue, but again, like, it's like 40 cents. So like, what the f it's not that generous. Oh, thank you, Via Pam. I'm really glad you like the community. I really like it too. I, I needed this. Um, the communities I had beforehand were not. <sighs> I loved them, and I thought there was a lot of really good stuff there. I also noticed that I really didn't necessarily get everything that I need from them. 
So it's it's really cool that me and Xena have been able to build a community that meets us. I mean, we've met some really great friends here, so. Absolutely. As I run around in circles trying to figure out where the fuck to go. All right, I guess I have to go up to that place, whatever. Um. Yeah, no, and that's that was kind of what I modeled it on. One of the things I really appreciated is in a lot of the early stuff where I saw Demon Mama, um, DM talked a lot about how good her community was and how chill and how great it was, and I really appreciated that. I thought that was really cool. Um, and so when we started the channel, we started talking about making a Discord. The thing that I kind of talked to Xena about is that I really want that kind of like nice, comfortable space. And that's kind of where we ended up was like, I feel like we kind of went that same direction as, you know, you can do the debate bro kind of server, but I don't really want that. I want, I want, um, I want something that is more, yeah, it's why I don't do them. I know that, I know that like, there's some people that really get on get on them, and I wouldn't mind doing like a panel discussion, but like debate debate, yeah, I just don't have it in me. I get way too emotional. Yeah, no, Bosch is, oh, what the fuck is that? Look out the window. Um, I don't want to. Oh, there's numbers. Oh, oh God. Oh, oh, oh. Scared the shit out of me. Oh, me too. Werewolf. Can, okay, that jump scare was fucking awful. I got God. No, that scared the fuck out of me. Oh seven, oh four, oh eight. Oh. He's like, please return my heart. Word. Oh God. Oh God damn. Seven. Oh Oh, four, oh, eight. I had it wrong. Okay, so what's going on? What is this gun that I have now? Small semi-automatic, fully automatic handgun. Damn. Well, good to know. As soon as I waste the bullets in this one, I'll... My mistake.
Uh, which question? Did I miss a question? If I missed a question, please repost it. I do apologize. I was in the middle of dealing with wolves. <laughs> One second. Let me go over here. I saw some of your vids and you mentioned in a video that you were going to make a segment about Destiny's abusive behavior online. Are you still thinking of doing that? There it is. Cool. I see, I see it. Thank you. Thank you for reposting it. I rolled up. Um, yeah, I think at some point, I think my big issue is, is that um, I just know that the moment we do that, it's going to bring a lot of attention. Um, and I'm not saying that attention isn't worth it, that I think pointing out this behavior isn't a thing. I just have to really think about like what I want to do. Because I also just know for the fact the fear of getting raided is there because they will do that sometimes. That's that's my concern. Like, part of the problem is, and maybe this is just my observation, but like, part of the problem is, is that I am fully aware of the fact that the reason why we haven't gotten hit real hard by some of that shit yet is because, um, I mean, let's put it very clearly, we're still a very small server. We're still a very small community, and... One of the things that sort of stands out to me is that there really is a, I guess, a, a concern or an awareness on my part where, yeah, we slip under the radar. It's why RGR never did a response to my video. Right? Because I don't want to say we're beneath notice, but we're kind of beneath notice. Welcome. Make this gun better. Wait, what is that gun at? 150? Okay, so one in one upgrade and it immediately gets better than the other gun. Okay. Delighted to. You know, I get that you find him creepy, but honestly, I find him endearing. Maybe that's my weird shit. I just find life. Do we have another like Yeah, or Demon Mama. I mean, I mean, I guess that's that's become more of like, I guess, Destiny and uh, <sighs> what is it? Um, Destiny and uh, <sighs> um, RGR. I mean, they take turns being mad at our at Demon Mama and creepy. Your coin. This is all an investment, Ethan. Yeah, I actually find him really endearing. Let I'll... me know if you find anything else of value. I don't know why. I like. I know I'm supposed to dislike him, but Shall I just. I choose something for you. I don't know why. He's just so adorable. I just can't help it. One moment, please. Ah, oh, it's fine. All finished. For the same reason you asked the 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 urban the urban uh, the question about suburbs, the problem is is that rule settings keep people very very separated, and also there is a way in which I think they foster a lot of the the feelings of contempt and disconnection. Um, I also think there's just stuff there that's really um. Good day then. <sighs> So it's a number of things. So you have the separation of people with large amounts of distance, um, which allows for fosterings of things like abuse and various other stuff. Uh, you also have things like... You also have things like, and this is, this is a good one, is like the fact that rule settings tend to have much more traditional views also means they're going to have a lot more of that stuff, such as hegemonic masculinity. So like, for example, one of the big things is going to be um, you know, you being in a position where if you're, you know, really, really hammering hard on the whole, like, 
you know, this is how a man should be nonsense, then it stands to reason that you're probably going to take certain steps that maybe you might not if you had surrounding and supportive communities. Right? Suicide being one of them, unfortunately. That would be my guess without seeing any data. But I think there is a very real problem because I think part of the problem is, is we as human beings don't ever really think about like what is the most effective way or what's the most beneficial way for us to organize and be together. Um, what seems to help us? What's that, what help seems to... Um, what seems to, to improve us? I don't think there's enough discussion about that. And I feel like that's kind of the discussion you have to have when you're talking about... Like, for example, how do we, what is the most effective way for people to live? And what do you do with the people that don't want to live that way because they have some sort of, you know, ideological issue with it? I, I don't know, really. Is there going to be a werewolf jump scare? Yep. Constance, are you who are you talking about? Oh, that. Yeah, I accidentally tweeted their thing because I thought it was a serious Destiny account. The problem is the notion of a freedom is a tied to suburbs and car dependence. Absolutely via Pam. No, there's... We have... Because of the way industry came about here, my guess is there's a pretty solid argument to be made that things tied to industry are tied to that freedom... Um, That freedom discourse and that this idea that, like these things are needed. And I honestly sucks because like, let's be super clear. This is super, super to the benefit of, um, corporations, right? Like, yeah, like come buy our truck. It will get you more chicks and you know, all that kind of bullshit. Do I believe in ghosts, witches and demons? So I've met witches. They're pretty cool. Um, Um, if you're talking about like ghosts, see, I tend to hold this perspective. My view is that I tend to hold from a place of Zen, I tend to, and I don't mean like Zen, like a state of being that people randomly cite. I mean, like actual Zen Buddhism is that I'm open to whatever. I don't believe in those things, but I also don't, don't believe in those things. Right? Like I, I, in some ways think to myself, okay. The, there are things in this world, in this universe, that I can't possibly know, so I don't discount shit. Sometimes there's going to be shit that I don't really have any awareness of. That's kind of where I come from. Um... Now, that's not to say that I, like, <clears throat> excuse me, that's not to say that, like, I ignore science or ignore um, empirical data, not in the least. I mostly just, I like to keep my options open in case there is anything that comes out. I mean, fuck. Ow, pig. Scared the fuck out of me. Give these to Duke. Duke like meat. So folks, you've got about another, I'm going to say another 10, 15 minutes, and then we're probably going to call it, call it a night. So my, yeah, Schrodinger's ghost. It either does or does not exist, depending on what I feel like. Um, but the point of this is, and this is just the request is if you want to get donations in now is better than not, right? Let's get them in. Dreamlabs.com slash transgirltherapist slash tip. You can also become a patron at patreon.com slash transgirltherapist. 
So you got about 15 minutes to hit me up with any questions. Um, Zena's still here if you've got questions for me. Sure. Hit Zena with donation questions. We fucking love that shit. We live to serve and we serve to live. I don't know what accent that was. I was just fucking around. And <laughs> now I want to go back and kill that other pig for its crimes. It is very interesting that the American discourse surrounded around the conceptions of negative freedoms. The Founding Fathers written extensively about positive freedoms. Yeah. Again, that's that's unfortunately the discourse because of of conservatives. Conservatives live and breathe live and breathe negative freedoms. Right? Like Oh, Streamlabs is irritating. Why is Streamlabs irritating? It didn't like church today. It didn't do what? Can't, it was like, I can't donate. Streamlabs didn't like me today. Oh, okay. Uh, Anthony, uh, pick a genre of game, or like a type, like, you mean tabletop, uh, RPGs, Yeah, yeah, you uh, gotta be specific, games. we're super nerds, like, I, <gasps> I, you gotta, you gotta help a girl out, please. Your username was not valid for, you might want to check your username. Was something spelled wrong? Wait, which username? Now I'm confused. You might need to do like the password recovery thing and see if that helps. Yeah, pick a genre. <laughs> pick a lane. Okay, I need to head back over here and kill that other paper. I don't like horror games. There we go. Uh, I am exposed to horror games. You should just make a new one then. You've got like 30 emails. Just make a new one. <laughs> you silly, you silly. Do it. Uh, now, granted, I'm not telling you you have to donate. Don't don't misunderstand me. I'm just saying simply that, like, if you want to donate, you can just make it. How is conservatism pathology? So the, the, the research doc for this is currently in process, but the short version is this. Every bit of research I can find thus far seems to point to a similar issue, and that is Conserve people who are conservative, that is, they believe in conservative conservatism as it's sort of performed by Republicans in the United States, seems to be more or less less of a, a political ideology and more based around what I would consider to be pathology. That is, it seems to do very real harm, not just to the not just to the um the world at large, which it does, destruction of the environment and the like, but it also just for, you know, shits and giggles. Yeah, we can't see what you're what you're asking us to scroll to. Sorry. Uh, what's your favorite horror game, love? Uh, my favorite horror game? Yeah, I have no idea what's going on. You're not hurting my feelings. You're just being weird. Um. <laughs> Um, but yeah, my take is, is there's enough data out there to suggest that there seems to be a pretty clear understanding that conservatism seems to lead to a lot of really negative outcomes. And it also shown to be more likely to be less effective as far as, um, Cognition, spatial reasoning. There's a lot of areas where it just doesn't work. Hell, like, fuck libertarians. Um, um, 
<laughs> struggle with empathy tests because the motherfuckers just don't have any like so that's kind of what I mean when I say this is that in a lot of ways what we're really what we're really talking about is is this idea that you know what pathology is is something that harms the self or the other and the thing is is that i think there are certain ideologies that lead to toxic outcomes the most notable one being is conservatism which in my opinion eventually leads to um fascism and and to be honest um you know authoritarianism as I've said before on this channel, and I and I know people take this as me being like hyperbolic, but let's be very clear. The only difference between conservatives and Nazis is one of them pretends to have care about the pretense of um um democracy, and the other one just doesn't give a shit. But it's pretense, that's all it is. UA cosplay, sometimes I feel like a male, but sometimes female. I feel like I have a war in my mind. So I have ideas of what that could be, but basically what I would say is the short version would be is that could be some evidence of you being potentially non-binary. So that would be like a form of being trans. Um, that would also could be bi-gender, which is another thing where someone feels like they're male or female, depending on the moment. Um, there's a lot of different... Um, Um, there's a lot of different alternatives or ideas, but yeah, that's kind of some of the options you have. Um, NB Pogs, yeah. Is capitalist architecture depressing or is it just me? I mean, give me an example of capitalist architecture. You're talking about just like random buildings or like skyscrapers because skyscrapers are pretty cool looking. Um, I still think those are neat. But if you're talking about, like, warehouses and shit, no argument. Like, brutalism? Yeah, brutal. Summon a little bit of my Nathan explosion. What does poggers mean? Yeah, so if you don't feel like you're trans, then you're, you're not trans. That's really how that works, UA Cosplay. Um... What does poggers mean? So poggers comes from a guy who is uh, very famous on the internet and basically said the term, or it was basically created based on a silly face he made. That guy is now a uh, conspiracy theorist and white supremacist, and we now say it because he hates it. <laughs> because I am a petty woman. Seeking something in particular. Envy pog. Yeah. Love my envy bros, sisters, and others. We have a whole video about like trans and non-binary stuff. I don't want you to discount yourself on not being trans enough either. You know, like if you're having like actual like stuff going on, maybe I'm this gender, maybe I'm not. Like, don't discount yourself and feel like you gotta meet like a certain threshold of gender. Like that's not Peggy, it was really great having you here. Thank you for being here and thank you for the dono. We really appreciate it. Lots of love. You. Satisfied? I believe this is a fair price. Oh yeah, it's the minimalist. We it's just need his silly lips and his eyes. <laughs> it's the best version of him. <laughs> uh -huh. uh, this this one's getting tired. This one's getting tired. I'm just about to save. Sounds good. I don't know if I don't remember. I don't remember the person's name. You'd have to look them up. Front panel. Nice. Very nice. Yeah. We're all pog champs here. Right. This simple modification can be done in just a moment. 
Thank you for your patronage. Oh no, that stuff's disgusting. I agree, Walmarts are terrifying. Hey everybody, thank you so much for watching. Um, if you like this video, please like, comment, and subscribe. You can also ring the bell if you want to be notified of our videos. Um, if you want to help the channel, you can donate at streamlabs.com slash transgirltherapist slash tip. You also can uh, become a patron at patreon.com slash transgirltherapist. As low as $3, you can support our channel. Thanks for watching.